Hi, it's Chester Tugwell at Blue Pecan Computer Training. And in this video, I want to show you how to convert an Excel file into a CSV file. It will actually allow you to retain the original Excel file, but you'll have an additional file with the same data in CSV format. I'm currently in Excel 365 and the interface is slightly different to older versions of Excel. So I'll also show you how to do this in Excel 2010. The first step is to open up the Excel file that you want to do the conversion on. And then in Excel 365, go up to File, then Save As. Then over here, you can see that I've currently got the file saved as an Excel workbook. I want to save it as a CSV file. So I click on this list of file types and there's an option here for CSV UTF-8. You only need to use that if you have foreign characters in your data. If not, you can go down to CSV comma delimited and then click on save. So this is the folder that I've got the file saved in. And if I right click on this CSV file and open it with a text editor such as Notepad, you can see that it's separated out the fields or the columns with a comma. And that's what a CSV file is, comma separated. Let me just show you how to do the same thing, but in Excel 2010. I'm in the 2010 version of Excel and I want to do exactly the same thing. I've got the Excel file open and what I do in this version, I go to file, save as. The difference here is that in Excel 2010, it opens up the save as dialog box. In the save as type drop down list, you're going to select CSV comma delimited as your file type and then click on save. And yes, I do want to replace it. Now I get a little message in this version about retaining formats once you convert to CSV. So anything like boldening or borders or coloring of text, that's all going to be lost, but that's what you'd expect with a CSV file. So I'm just going to click on yes. And if I open up the CSV file here, you can see that 2010 does exactly the same as Excel 365 in terms of creating the CSV file. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully you found it useful. If you have, please subscribe and I'll see you next video.